Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to take a look at some new cool AI features from Wondershare. So in one of the previous videos, we went over how you can create talking photos and so on. And now they also have some AI models that can go in and do video enhancement, video upscaler, image upscaler, and also face enhancement. We can use this tool here to do a bunch of recording if you want to record videos. You can also have some old videos where you can go in and basically just upscale the resolution with state of the art. AI models. So these are some pretty cool models. I'm going to walk you through each of the features. We're going to see how we can set it up and take a look at some very cool results. But we're going to do like auto trimming and so on. You can just throw in a video. It's going to auto trim it for you. You can do compression with state of the art models. So let's just jump straight into it and see how this unit converted from Wondershare works. So we just jump straight into the tool here where we have AI lab down at the bottom. We can see we have all the tools to the left. We have video editor, screen recorder and so on. We can probably just try to open that up to start with. So we can create a recording so right now we can both create a screen recorder and also a webcam so you can use this as your recording tool then you can compress the videos into very small files like you can pretty much like do 3 to 4x compression without losing any quality with this tool from Wondershare called Uniconverter so we have the converter downloader compressor video editor screen recorder DVD burner and so on there's a bunch of different tools but the cool ones are definitely the AI labs where we can do this image and video upscaling so we're going to do a screen recording you can just choose the specific region move it around and you can also change the format so right now we can have custom then we can have full hd full screen 2k resolution and so on you can set up your webcam the speakers and so on so let's just try to do that we can also set up the webcam so right now we just have my studio display webcam you can move it around so this is pretty awesome you can also choose between the different webcams that you have available then you can just hit record you're good to go and then you can use these videos compress them use them for presentations use them if you want to send something for colleagues instead of like using looms and so on you can directly use it in here you can use the ai tools to go in and remove like filler words auto clip it auto cut everything together so you don't have to do that manually so they're using a lot of ai to act like just make it more efficient make yourself more productive and i've been using this tool here for some time especially for the image and video upscaler so let's say that you have some videos in low resolution you can go in and upscale them could be that you're downloading them from some websites and then you want to upscale them later on could also just be that you want to enhance your face so these are the AI labs. So we have the HUD. We can go in and take a look at the video. They also have denoiser. And for the image, we can even go in and colorize our images. So take grayscale images and we actually like colorize them. So we have RGB colors. Could be that you have some old photos that you want to restore. So this is a pretty awesome one, even color correction. All of this here is done by state-of-the-art AI model. So this is the main tool that I'm using, even though I've been using like Canva and all those different tools. You always like find a, an image upscaler and so on. It doesn't give you the results that you want. So this is a pretty awesome tool. So right now, we're just going to take a look at some examples. Let's go inside the hot one and let's take a look at the face enhancer. So I'm just going to throw in a couple of images here that I have downloaded from my thumbnails. So I'm just going to drag this one in here. I've exported in very low resolution, so we can go in and see how much we can do. So we can have the auto enhancer, image upscaler, face enhancer, and so on. So now let's just go in and export it. You can also bulk upload in here directly, image upscaler, colorizer, and so on. So let's just export it. Right now it's just going to run it through the AI models. And again, these are some of the state-of-the-art AI models. It's really nice that you can combine AI with images and so on. You can do upscaling with diffusion models. You also know all the generative AI models out there which can generate images for us. But now we can take a look at the original and also the results. So you can see that it has enhanced my um, my face here. It is a bit blurry on the original. If you guys can see it, I'll just zoom in here a bit so you can better see what's going on. We can also test out the auto enhancer. And again, if you have some old images laying around, you can like basically just restore them from old photos with the use of AI models, do color correction and so on. I think this image here is a bit too yellow, so we can probably go in and take a look at how the color correction would go in and help with that. So if I zoom in here a bit, we can see it basically just enhances it. It makes the image more crisp, more smooth, where it's a bit blurry here on the left side. And again, this image here is not upscale, so it's still at pretty low resolution. I think it's 720p. So it's going to test the color correction. You can just export it directly here. It just takes a few seconds to pass through the AI model and get the results back. There we go. Now we can see that we have our color correction. And I said here on the left side that it was a bit too yellow. Let's see if it fixed that. It's a bit less yellow. We can see that the, the colors are a bit brighter. It actually looks pretty, pretty good. 
it might make more sense if you have like nature like images of nature and so on compared to just like a facial shot but if you just zoom all the way in it looks uh it looks pretty nice so just for the image tools here that I have before we're going to jump into videos, we can just take a look at if we can do 4x upscaling. You've probably tested out a bunch of other tools on the internet available out there. You're just searching for free image enhancer or like free image upscaler and you can't get any of the tools to work or it doesn't really give you better resolution. Maybe it does give you better resolution, but it's basically just going to stretch and resize the image. So we lose the quality. So it doesn't really make sense to upscale our image. But when we're doing it with the AI models from Uniconverter, we can see that the quality and details are significantly better compared to the left side, which is way more pixelated. And if we really want to see a clear difference, let's just scroll a bit further down and let's take at the watch here and also the, the arm so it looks very pixelated very blurry on the left side and on the right side it's pretty much just spot on so one of the best features here is that we can actually like upload images in batches when we're doing this image enhancing so right now i'm just going to take a bunch of images here we can just drag them in you can choose whatever you have you can take a whole folder throw it in here and you can do batch processing as well and you can go in and upscale your images now we can just go in and hit export all i've just uploaded four images but you can just take a full folder with a bunch of images and then you can do this image upscaling at the same time this is going to save you a ton of time and definitely worth it to explore so let's just close this one here again and we're going to take a look at the video upscaler all the tools in here i've already converted some video files so if you just go inside the converter you can download and also do the compression so you can see i've already finished one so it's just going to grab one of the videos that i have recorded for ultralytics at some point so here we have 1.9 gigabytes and it's basically going to compress it down to 700 to 1.3 gigabytes so that's almost a 3x decrease in the video file size so that's going to have a huge impact if you're actually just going to do a compression let's see how long it takes so this will take around it's fluctuating a bit here around six, seven minutes. So after we've done that, we can upload it into Drive. You can also convert it to different formats depending on if you want to use MP4, MOV, and all of that. So before we're going to jump into seeing some video examples, we can also just take a look at all the tools here in case that that might be interesting for some of you guys. So we have the AI Image Enhancer. We went over that. AI Script Generator. If you're creating presentation, movies, content, and so on, you can have these AI Script Generators where you basically just prompt it and it will come up with a video script for you. AI Video Enhancer. We're going to take a look at that. It can do scene detection, vocal remover, cutter. So it can do automatic cropping, smart trimmer. So if you basically have like silent segments in your video and your audio presentation and so on, it can basically just trim those automatically. It's using AI to do all of this. So it's really on point. Also noise remover. So this is pretty much just a tool for any content creator out there. If you're creating presentations, could even be just for like school presentations. If you want to present something, share it with your colleagues and friends, this is just a nice tool to have in general. So it's now just going to take a look at the video tools. Let's go back and we have the video enhancer. There we go. And let's go in and take a look at this example. So they have a bunch of examples that you can test out as well. So right now, let's just get a preview. So on the left side here, I'm just going to turn off the volume. So here on the left side, we can see how blurry this image is. We barely can see any of the cars, the colors, they're also pretty like vanished out, very blurry. And if we zoom in a bit more, we can see just how much better it is once we have done this AI video enhancement. It's just way more crisp, we get way more detail. Sometimes we get a bit too much detail, but it's still significantly better compared to the input video, which is low resolution, blurry, can't be used for anything compared to the other one on the right side. So this will help you significantly in your presentations. A lot when we're working with AI models, data sets and so on, we work with very low resolution images. And then if you want to visualize the results, you can just do the AI upscaling, AI videos and so on. You can do the compression, so it doesn't really increase the file size either and you still keep the high quality. So once you've done that, you can just go in and export it, use it for whatever you want on your side. So that's it for this video here. I just wanted to show you guys some cool tools that I'm using myself for my content creation, but also when I'm creating presentations, LinkedIn posts and so on. If I have videos, demo videos and so on in low resolution, I can just go in here and upscale it and still do the compression so I can work with them in the browser, upload them to different platforms and so on. So it's just a nice tool to know because most of the time when you want to do any of these things, you're just going to Google and search for free online tools and they're not good. Most of the time they don't work. Here we just have one tool with the Uniconverter 
everything combined under one tool and we can use it locally on our own machine it's fast and it has all these ai features so definitely going to check it out everything is down in the description as mentioned and then i'll just see you guys in one of the upcoming videos until then happy learning